점수 잡는 해커스 해커스 토이 실전 천재 3 리스닝 Test 7 Listening Test In this section, you must demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This section is divided into four parts and will take approximately 45 minutes to complete. Do not mark the answers in your test book. Use the answer sheet that is provided separately. Part 1 Directions For each question, You will listen to four short statements about a picture in your test book. These statements will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the statement that best describes what is happening in the picture and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on the answer sheet. Look at the picture below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. The man is looking at the monitor. B. The man is sitting at the desk. C. The man is typing a letter. D. The man is holding a cup. The statement that best describes the picture is B. The man is sitting at the desk. So you should mark letter B on the answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. People are pouring some beverages. B. People are spreading out platters. C. People are holding wine glasses. D. People are sitting across from each other. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. She's removing fabric from a machine. B. She's connecting a pipe to a device. C. She's pulling a laundry cart. D. She's laying a sheet on the floor. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. A woman is waving at a group. B. A woman is photographing a tree. C. The men are setting up a camera. D. The men are posing for a picture. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A power tool has been left in a case. B. An electrical cord is being coiled. C. A worker is cutting the base of a pole. D. A ladder has been propped against a wall. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A frame has been hung near a lamp. B. Windows are on both sides of a room. C. Some diners are having a meal at a table. D. A flower pot is situated next to a carpet. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. Some equipment is being carried indoors. B. A monitor is mounted on the wall. C. A room has been decorated with patterned paper. D. Some weights have been stored in a box. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. For each question, you will listen to a statement or question followed by three possible responses spoken in English. They will not be printed 
and will only be spoken one time. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. When can I buy tickets for a semifinal game? A. No, I'm fine. B. Right now the score is tied. C. The first week of June. Number eight. What's included in the gift bag for visitors? A. Thank you for the present. B. Items displaying our company's name. C. Give Kevin a few more plates. Number nine. How long will it take to reach the ski resort? A. About four hours. B. My winter break is almost over. C. Take the next freeway exit. Number ten. Who is going to talk first at the economics forum? A. It begins at nine thirty tomorrow morning. B. The president of the research firm. C. Yes, I've got the transcript here. Number eleven. Can't we go to the theater later in the week? A. It's not my second visit. B. A new play by a local writer. C. No, we reserved seats for this evening. Number twelve. Has the package been delivered yet? A. There is no charge for delivery. B. Check with the other receptionist. C. I order it online. Number thirteen. What's the matter with your briefcase? A. That's very interesting. B. Juice was spilled on it. C. My car is fine. Number fourteen. How would you like to spend the afternoon? A. If you'd like to. B. Because I spent too much money. C. I haven't given it much thought. Number fifteen. Should we distribute awards to staff now or after dinner? A. Not everyone has arrived yet. B. I'll have the tomato soup. C. Our main distribution center. Number sixteen. Mr. Willis from the payroll department called for me, right? A. All the supplies have been paid for. B. Here's my extension number. C. No, he was looking for Andrea. Number seventeen. Are employees cataloging complaints that we receive from customers? A. It's the product catalog. B. That's what I've been told. C. Only a few workers were disappointed. Number eighteen. Don't purchases over seventy-five euros qualify for free shipping? A. Payments can be made over the phone. B. Take these parcels as well. C. We no longer offer that service. Number nineteen. When can you update the bulletin board? A. Generally, Stephen takes care of it. B. The most up-to-date medications. C. We upgraded the network last month. Number twenty. Mr. Adams, where should we discuss the Ford project? A. 
as soon as I return from my meeting. B. The second floor conference room isn't being used. C. Everyone is pleased with the project. Number 21. Supervisors must strictly adhere to established regulations. A. The store was established a decade ago. B. What about in special circumstances? C. Management provided lunch. Number 22. Did Miss Laplante request extra towels and pillows, or just pillows? A. Because I'm going to the pool. B. Additional interns. C. She'd like both. Number 23. Have you had a chance to train the new waitress? A. Not as of yet. B. No, we'd better head to platform two. C. There's a chance it might snow. Number 24. Are you aware that we can't use our normal route to work? A. There's a way to fix the device. B. You'll find them quite useful. C. Yes, a lane is being added to Highway 43. Number 25. Which of these printers has wireless capabilities? A. As far as I know, that's right. B. A small section of wire. C. They all do. Number 26. None of our guests have dietary restrictions, do they? A. We've been granted restricted access. B. Those details are written on this sheet. C. None of the vehicles. Number 27. Some of this produce is beginning to spoil. A. I just started this week. B. Factory production levels. C. Please replace it with fresh vegetables. Number 28. Why didn't you ask me for a ride from the airport? A. I made other arrangements. B. I asked for a window seat. C. At the international airport. Number 29. This wristwatch has to be engraved with a client's name. A. My wrist still hurts. B. Okay, but it can't be done until tomorrow. C. Yes, watch out for the beam. Number 30. Why don't I ask the engineers to improve this prototype? A. No, we don't own any. B. Tell them to apply our feedback. C. Research and development costs. Number 31. These machines ought to be unloaded immediately. A. We should order them soon. B. Do you mean the dishwashers? C. All downloads are free of charge. Part 3. Directions. In this part, you will listen to several conversations between two or more speakers. These conversations will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each conversation, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Mark. Our department head wants me to arrange the corporation's year-end party. However, 
I'm not sure when it should be hosted. How about December 21st? Could you think about choosing another day? The 21st is when the Tampa Bay Hurricanes plays in the championship ice hockey game, and I know a lot of staff plan to watch that. Thanks for reminding me. Would December 22nd be better then? Definitely. Also, I can help out by sending a notice to fellow employees. So let me know once you settle on a specific time and the other details. Number 32. What task has the woman been assigned? Number 33. What does the man request the woman do? Number 34. What does the man offer to do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I'd like to see the 8 p.m. screening of Voyage Across Australia. I'm sorry, but tickets for that and all other showtimes tonight have been sold out. You may book a seat for tomorrow night, however. I didn't realize the movie was that popular. I have to be at the office tomorrow night. Will the film still be playing at the theatre next week? Yes. In fact, Andy Baker, the director, will be present for a question and answer session following the screening next Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. You can find out more information about that by reading the flyer posted behind you. Number 35. Who most likely is the man? Number 36. What does the woman ask the man about? Number 37. What does the man say about Andy Baker? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. This is Clara Davis, and I'm having trouble with my laptop. Your shop did a fantastic job fixing it previously, so I'd like to hire you again. What's the issue this time, Ms. Davis? The screen keeps freezing, and the computer often restarts automatically. Well, that sounds like a software error, which isn't my area of expertise. My associate Robert specializes in those types of repairs. Would it be possible to bring your laptop to our office next Monday? He can work on it then. I'm going abroad for a real estate workshop on Sunday. I'd really like it running properly before then. Hmm. Let me transfer you to Robert now. I can't say whether he'll be able to fit you into his schedule sometime today. One moment, please. Number 38. Where does the man most likely work? Number 39. What does the man suggest the woman do? Number 40. What does the man mean when he says, let me transfer you to Robert now. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Did you hear about the policy change for business travel expenses? Employees will have to submit relevant receipts within at least three days following the end date of a trip. But that means I'll need to get the paperwork from my recent visit to our warehouse in Dubai in order by today. I won't have time for that. Don't worry. The rule doesn't take effect until the end of next month. That's a relief. Why is the policy being modified? The goal is to improve efficiency within the financial department. Makes sense. Last week, the head of the division was actually telling me how hard it is to track costs when people aren't timely about turning in their receipts. Number 41. 
What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 42. What does the woman ask the man about? Number 43. What did the woman do last week? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I checked out some novels here earlier today, and I may have left my wallet somewhere near the circulation desk. Has one been found recently? Not to my knowledge. However, I think you'd better visit our lost and found center just one floor up. Someone could have possibly picked it up and brought it there. I see. Also, I'm wondering if it's possible to borrow these DVDs without my library card. Unfortunately, my card was also in my wallet. Certainly. We have your account in our system, so I can go ahead and do that for you. May I ask for your account number? Number 44. Where does the conversation probably take place? Number 45. What suggestion does the man make? Number 46. What information does the man need? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. The sporting supplier, this is Wanda. What can I help you with? I'd like to ask about a tennis racket I found on your homepage, the Kendall Swift XE. I'm wondering if these rackets come with spare grips for the handle or if those would need to be purchased separately. All tennis rackets come with just one standard grip, but we offer a variety of other grips that absorb shock and reduce hand strain. Those can be added on for an extra charge. OK. I'm interested in the shock absorbing types, so I'll take another look online this afternoon and see what specific options are available. Thanks. Number 47. Why did the man call the woman? Number 48. What does the woman mention about racket grips? Number 49. What will the man probably do this afternoon? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Charlie. I'm having dinner with our investment consultant in Brownville in 30 minutes, but I forgot my day planner at the office. It contains the name and address of the restaurant we agreed to meet at, which I need. Yes, it's right here on your desk. Is it okay if I open it and find those details? Please do. Is there a sticky note attached to the page with the information for the meeting with Charles Grand? Indeed. It says that you have a table booked at El Toro Bistro on 45 Western Avenue. Number 50. What problem does the woman describe? Number 51. What does the woman allow the man to do? Number 52. What detail does the man provide? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation.
Thanks for joining me as a special guest on my cooking show here at our broadcasting studio today, Wendy. I'm sure many of my TV viewers have been looking forward to this. No problem, Chef Hammond. So, what will you be creating with these ingredients? Well, since the theme of our program is Italian dishes, I'll demonstrate how to make spaghetti with cream sauce. Sounds delicious. Um, there are eggs mixed into the sauce, right? Oh, you're familiar with this dish? The recipe calls for two eggs, and here's something to keep in mind. It's important to lower the heat on the stove top when adding the eggs, so that they don't become scrambled. That's a fantastic tip. Should I add the cheese now? Yes, please. Meanwhile, I'll show our audience the differences between Italian and American-style bacon. Number fifty-three. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number fifty-four. Why does the man say, "You're familiar with this dish"? Number fifty-five. What will the man most likely do next? Questions fifty-six through fifty-eight refer to the following conversation. Kumiko, do you know where I can find a copy of the study our research department conducted on healthcare devices? I need data from it to make another report. I've got a printout of that in my file cabinet right here. By the way, are you going to the Heart and Lung Foundation's annual charity fundraiser on May fourth, or will you be too busy working on this project? I requested a deadline extension. I heard that there will be many industry professionals attending the fundraiser, so I don't want to miss it. It would be a great opportunity to network with them. Definitely. If you haven't registered yet, I can do it for you. Number fifty-six. What department? Does the man work in? Number fifty-seven. What does the man imply when he says, "I requested a deadline extension"? Number fifty-eight. What does the woman offer to do? Questions fifty-nine through sixty-one refer to the following conversation. You did a great job creating these charts about our export trends. Our team leader wants you to make a presentation on them at the Manila branch next week. That's great, but will I have enough time to secure a visa for business travel before then? It took longer than I anticipated to get one the last time I went abroad. I've already spoken with the head of human resources about that. He was informed by the embassy that the visa approval process can be completed in under a week. Okay, then could you email me the presentation template you made for last week's audit meeting? I like the design of it and want to use it. Number fifty-nine. What does the team leader want the man to do? Number sixty. Why is the man worried? Number sixty-one. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions sixty-two through sixty-four refer to the following conversation with three speakers. This has been an excellent year for our company. Without a doubt, we've increased the number of job seekers who we have helped find work by almost twenty-five percent. What's more, we've established strong relationships with major employers. Yeah, consistent dealings with enterprises such as South Bend Corporation. 
will be central to our success moving forward. Is it true that South Bend has contacted us again to find more engineering interns? That's right. Do you know the number of positions they need filled? Not exactly. I'm guessing five or six. What I do know is that the contract we signed gives us four weeks to find suitable applicants. That should be a comfortable amount of time to work with. Number 62. Where most likely do the speakers work? Number 63. What is implied about South Bend Corporation? Number 64. How long will the speakers have to complete a task? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and coupon. Shane, the IT team was supposed to update the website yesterday to include information about our new Oceans Alive line of soap, but it hasn't been done yet. I forgot to tell you, they're going to finish this afternoon by, um, 3 p.m. at the latest. OK, I'll check it then. Is there anything that needs to be done for the product release event being held at Supersmart at the end of next month? Of our new products, the shampoo, hand soap, and face cleanser are made of organic ingredients, but the body wash isn't. The current coupon must be modified to ensure it's valid for the entire line. Number 65. What problem does the woman mention? Number 66. What kind of event will be held next month? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Which product is not covered by the coupon? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and graph. Gina, has the environmental assessment that Skylark Incorporated commissioned our research firm to conduct been completed? It has. I was in charge of carrying it out and everything went smoothly. Good. If I remember correctly, the company is concerned with rainfall levels. That's right. In four counties that it's considering constructing an amusement park. So. I assume you recommend that the firm build at the driest location of the ones analysed. No, actually. That one isn't suitable since land costs there exceed Skylark's budget. As a result, we recommended the next best option. Number 68. What does the man ask the woman about? Number 69. What was the woman responsible for? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which county has been recommended? Part 4. Directions. In this part, you will listen to several short talks by a single speaker. These talks will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each talk, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Cynthia, it's Haley Vincent. I know you're busy preparing for the convention in Orlando you'll be attending on behalf of our investment company, 
but I could really use your help. I'm presenting some information about a couple of stocks to a client on Monday. I'm a little nervous because I've never done that before. It'd be great if you could go over my notes and visual materials with me beforehand. I want to make sure everything is in order. Oh, also, do you happen to know of any good vegetarian places in town? I might go for lunch with the client after the meeting, and he doesn't eat meat. Thanks in advance, and I'll talk to you soon. Number 71. Where does the listener probably work? Number 72. What will the speaker do on Monday? Number 73. What information does the speaker ask for? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following speech. Thank you all very much for being here to celebrate the release of our company's latest device, the Access Portable Charger. I would like to give Patricia Sanderson from the design team special praise today. She came up with the idea to include a flashlight function in the charger. This feature has proven popular with online reviewers who were given the device in advance. They say it makes this the perfect charger for a camping trip, which should result in more sales. Now, please turn your attention to the screen at the front of the room. A commercial for the Access Portable Charger will air on several major TV networks starting tomorrow, and I'd like to give you a sneak preview. Number 74. At what event is the speech being given? Number 75. Why does the speaker praise Patricia Sanderson? Number 76. What will most likely happen next? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Holster. This is Julie Thompson from Beaumont Industries. You did very well during the interview on Thursday. Our CEO was impressed with your idea about how to sell more of our products in the Chinese home appliance market. As a result, I'm pleased to inform you that you've been selected to take over as manager of our Beijing branch. I'll email you the contract today. If you decide to accept the terms, please sign it and bring it to my office. I don't want to rush you, but um, the current manager will be retiring in three weeks. Obviously, we'd like you to spend a few weeks working with him. Call me back at 555-0393 if you have any questions. Number 77. What did the listener do on Thursday? Number 78. What was the CEO impressed with? Number 79. What does the speaker mean when she says, The current manager will be retiring in three weeks. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. Okay, my name is Sarah Edwards and I'll be showing you around our tire manufacturing facility today. As new employees, it's important that you be familiar with the various sections. Now, we usually visit the tire testing laboratory first during these orientation tours. But, since researchers are currently wrapping up an urgent study, I've been asked to do the tour in reverse order today. So we'll start by heading to the viewing deck of our assembly line room. Throughout the tour, 
Please refrain from placing your hands or fingers on any of the machines. Are there any questions before we begin? Number 80. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 81. According to the speaker, what has been changed? Number 82. What are listeners instructed to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Felicity, this is Pedro. Have you seen today's edition of the Santa Cruz Herald? It features an article about our bistro. The popular food critic Rebecca Clay wrote the piece. Overall, her review was very positive. Although she stated that our chocolate cake was a bit too sweet, She said the steak and appetizer she ordered were cooked to perfection. You know, Ms. Clay has very high standards. It will probably result in a lot more customers for us. Could you add this review to our social media page today? I want as many people as possible to read it. Thanks. Number 83. What is the message mainly about? Number 84. Why does the speaker say, Ms. Clay has very high standards? Number 85. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following advertisement. Are you a singer or musician looking for your first big break? Then Star Broadcast Network's newest program is for you. Music Icon is a talent competition that will end with one participant receiving a contract with a major entertainment company. On the show, a panel of celebrity judges, which varies every week, Will eliminate one contestant, and once there are only three participants left, the viewers alone will get to select the winner. We'll be holding auditions across the country from May 11th until June 15th to select our competitors. So sign up for the one in the city closest to you today. Visit our website for a list of audition sites. Number 86. What is the advertisement mainly about? Number 87. What does the speaker say about the judges? Number 88. What does the speaker say is available on the website? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. I'd like to start by saying that it's a great honor to be able to participate in this lecture series at James College. Several speakers have already given excellent talks. And I hope that you'll find mine as engaging as theirs. Now, the focus of my lecture is the impact that fiction has on society. Specifically, I'm going to look at how one popular novel, um, The Looking Glass by Jack Coyle, led to several reforms to the legal system. If you haven't read Coyle's book, don't panic. I'll hand out the relevant excerpts from it now, so you can refer to them during my lecture. Number 89. What is mentioned about the previous speakers? Number 
What will the speaker talk about? Number 91. Who is Jack Coyle? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement and floor plan. Attention everyone! Before we open today, I just want to remind you that our clothing store is having a sale this week in honour of the holidays. Make sure to tell customers that over 20 of our best-selling sportswear items are marked down. The display has been set up in the aisle closest to the main entrance, so it will be the first thing people see when they enter the store. Oh, one more thing. We're going to close down for two days toward the end of the month so that our checkout area can be expanded. I'll announce the dates tomorrow after I have met with a representative of the interior design firm doing the work. Number 92. Who is the speaker most likely addressing? Number 93. Look at the graphic. Where has the display been set up? Number 94. According to the speaker, what will be announced tomorrow? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and graph. Before we wrap up, I'd like to talk about how our four stores are doing. I went through the figures in our quarterly sales report yesterday, and, well, there's good news and bad news. The Kingston branch continues to do well. It exceeded $30,000 in revenue every month last quarter. In addition, the Albany branch has improved. Sales have increased each month since Harry Ferguson took over as manager in June. I'm concerned about the Bethany and Newark locations, though, because sales have declined since they opened in August. I'm going to pass out the report now. Please look through it and then come up with some suggestions for our next meeting on how to turn things around. Number 95. What did the speaker do yesterday? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which branch does the graph refer to? Number 97. What will most likely happen next? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement and chart. Ever since we started working on the Raymond Arena project last month, things have been very busy. The tight deadlines have created problems for some of you architects, which we need to address. If you look at this flow chart, you'll see that our normal work process for drafting blueprints includes five steps. However, for the rest of this project, I want you to draft blueprints right after meeting with clients. I think eliminating one step will expedite the work process. Now, I want to say a few things about a new city regulation that we need to take into account when designing the stadium. It'll only take a few minutes. Number 98. What happened last month? Number 99. Why is a change being made? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which step was removed from a work process?